folks, welcome back to our Origins Summer Preview 2015 coverage. We are here with Zev from Deja Vu. Games. <laughs> we've done we've done one of these or two perhaps, and uh, we're taking a look here at Abracadabra. What? And uh, that, was that was pretty good. Yeah, that was very good. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you say it. <laughs> so Zev, uh, what is going on? I see a lot of these plastic, nice plastic chunky bits on the table. Some I can't even look at. What's happening? <laughs> it's just there to look at and then and uh, admire I mean, it's from afar. On the back, but I'd love to be able to look at the front. Tell well, me how this works. Well, you can look at the fronts of my uh, spells, and that's uh, part of the game. Uh, you are looking at the other player's spells. These tiles are represent spells that you can cast, uh, and they're numbered one to eight, and they do various things, uh, uh, each one. The number also determines how many of each of those uh, are available. So the number one spell means there's only one of them, the number two spell two, and so on and so forth, as also indicated by the chart here. Mm -hmm. On the board, right? Uh, yes, on your turn, what you're trying to suss out is what spell can you cast? based on what you see from the other players and of course the amount of tiles that are face down that nobody sees and you are going to call out a spell and say I want to cast a certain spell and then the players will tell you whether you can cast it or not. Right. Okay. If you cannot cast it your turn will end and you refill your tiles back to five. You're taking from the center tiles here. If you successfully cast a spell, it will have an effect, you resolve its effect, and then if you wish, you may cast another spell, but it has to be a number equal to or higher than the previous uh, cast spell. So you need to keep going up, same or up on these, uh, exactly. these powers. Exactly. And so uh, if you successfully call the three, the next spell you have to cast, if you wish, it has to be three or higher. You can't go two or one okay. uh, the, uh, and do that. Uh, I believe also as the spells um, are more rare, they get you know, bigger effects and better effects. Uh, you can also eliminate a player by taking all their life points, which are represented here. Uh, you are also keeping track of scores. Uh, and at the end of the at the end of a uh, of a game, when somebody runs out of uh, all their tiles, uh, well, the round ends immediately, and then you score uh, the round, and the player who has the the most points wins the game. So ideally, I want to trigger all of these. Boom, boom, boom without having to refill to five. Correct. Or eliminate everybody else. Or eliminate, yes, because we have spells like, for example, the fireball, the player to your right loses one life. So if you successfully cast fireball, you do some damage. Now this is a reprint from a game with a, it's just a slightly different slightly game. Slightly different name. It? it was a, a it was Korean. Abracadawa. Abracadawa. It's Abracadawa. Yeah. yeah, so we added the Abracadada, the da, and the T to what? Because I believe it was also just wa, but I could be wrong. Maybe it was what. I think but it was a what question. So it was, yeah. so, uh, yeah, Korean game. We license it. You know, we do, uh, as you know, we do original games and we do licensed games. And this was a licensed game. From, and you uh, added Korea. a track down here, which the original didn't have. Correct, to help yeah. the E, so let people know where the what the scoring situation was more, uh, more easily. Slightly bigger box, also, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. It's pretty good because the first one they were really. It was pretty they were, tight. They were tight. Yeah. But these tiles are sweet. I mean, they're just tactile. Oh, they're, they're, they, they're, they feel they're really nice. Well and well again, as you can see, the pictures are in there. Uh, you can slide the tiles uh, in and out so you can change them out mm -hmm. if you needed to. Uh, but again, you have the number and the type of spell uh, that's available. And you also have a reference that tells you uh, what the spell numbers are. So you can say, I want to cast a fireball, and people will look at you and say, sorry, you can't, and you know, too bad. Or you can, fantastic. So when is this going to be available? Uh, I would say if it's not now, it's probably the next week or two. Okay. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's on its way, if not already out there. Okay. So by the time you see this, you can you probably could, go You get could it. very well get it, yes. And All if you were here at the show, you could get, you it, could right get it too, yes. So just go back in time about a week. <laughs> yes. Get it. Exactly. Right, That's that. another game. Yes. <laughs> and thank you for tuning in. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com.